Welcome to Ivy Bedtime Stories Channel. Frozen. When Princess Elsa and Princess Anna of Arendelle were little girls, they were the best of friends. Anna was one of the only people who knew Elsa's secret. Elsa had the power to make snow and ice. One night, Elsa filled an empty ballroom with snow so the sisters could play together. But as they played, Elsa lost control. She accidentally hit Anna with a blast of icy magic. Anna was badly hurt. Her parents went to the ancient mountain trolls for help. A wise old troll told them that Anna could be saved. She was lucky to have been hit in the head, not in the heart. Anna did not remember what had happened. To keep Elsa's gift a secret from everyone else, their parents surrounded the castle with walls and never. But whenever Elsa had strong feelings, the magic still spilled out. Elsa didn't want to hurt her sister again, so she stopped playing with Anna. That made Anna very lonely. Even after their parents were lost in a storm at sea, the sisters didn't spend any time together. Years later, it was time for Elsa to become Queen of Arendelle. For just that day, the castle gates. Elsa worked hard to hide her feelings, and her powers. At the party, Anna danced with handsome Prince Hans from the Southern Isles. He made her heart flutter. It seemed like they had everything in common. They decided to get married. Elsa thought their engagement was a bad idea. She told Anna, "You can't marry a man you just met." Anna couldn't believe it. Why do you shut me out? What are you so afraid of? Elsa started to lose control. Enough! As she shouted, ice shot from her hands. Everyone stared at Elsa in shock. Now all of Arendelle knew Elsa's secret. Elsa panicked and fled for the mountains. Anna felt horrible. Elsa's powers had created a terrible winter storm in the middle of summer. I'll bring her back, and I'll make this right. Anna declared. She left Hans in charge of the kingdom and raced after Elsa. As Anna rode through the fierce wind, her horse threw her into the snow and ran off back to Arendelle. Luckily. Anna met an ice harvester named Kristoff and his reindeer pal Sven. Together, they set off to look for Elsa. As they climbed the mountain, Anna and Kristoff discovered a beautiful winter wonderland. They met an enchanted snowman named Olaf. Olaf knew where Elsa was, and he was eager to help Kristoff and Anna bring back summer. Meanwhile, Hans was helping the people of Arendelle. When Anna's horse came back to the castle without her, Hans turned to the crowd and said, "Princess Anna is in trouble. I need volunteers to go with me to find her." Back on the mountain. Olaf led Anna and Kristoff to a giant ice palace that Elsa had created with her powers. Even Kristoff was impressed. Now that's ice. Inside, Anna told Elsa about the terrible storm in Arendelle. Elsa was worried. She didn't know how to unfreeze the town, and she thought that Arendelle and Anna might be better off without her. Anna wanted Elsa to come home, but Elsa was too scared that she would hurt more people. 
As the sisters argued, an icy wave of magic burst from Elsa's body and struck Anna in the chest. Anna wouldn't leave without her sister. Elsa knew what she had to do. She used her magic to create a giant snowman to chase Anna and her friends out of the palace. The snowman chased them toward a steep cliff. Kristoff thought they could jump, saying, there's 20 feet of fresh powder down there. It will be like landing on a pillow, hopefully. The friends landed safely below. They had escaped from the snowman, but Anna had other things to worry about. Anna's hair was turning snowy white. Kristoff brought Anna to the trolls. One troll told them that unless Elsa's magic was reversed, Anna would be frozen solid. Only an act of true love could thaw a frozen heart. Anna knew she loved Hans. Maybe a kiss from him would work. As the friends hurried toward Arendelle, Anna began to shiver. Kristoff was worried about her. He was starting to care for Anna. Hans and his soldiers had just arrived at the Ice Palace and attacked Elsa. They brought her back to Arendelle and threw her in the dungeon. When Anna arrived in Arendelle, she asked Hans to save her with a kiss. But Hans refused. He had only pretended to love her. He wanted to take over Arendelle by getting rid of Anna and Elsa. Hans left Anna alone and shivering. Olaf found her and helped her warm up by the fire. But Anna was getting weaker and weaker. Olaf glanced out the window and saw Kristoff racing toward the castle. There's your act of true love right there, said Olaf. Kristoff was the one Anna needed to kiss. With the last of her strength, Anna struggled outside. Elsa had escaped from the dungeon, but Hans was close behind her. Hans told Elsa that her magic blast hit Anna's heart. I tried to save her, he said, but it was too late. Elsa collapsed in the snow and closed her eyes. Everything she had done to protect her sister had failed. Nearby, Anna was hurrying toward Kristoff when she heard Hans draw his sword. She turned and saw her sister. Elsa was in danger. Instead of saving herself, Anna leaped in front of her sister, crying no. Hans swung his sword, but it shattered against Anna's frozen body. She had turned to solid ice. Elsa clutched her sister. Oh, Anna, no. Please, no. Suddenly, Anna began to thaw. Her arms, warm again, reached around Elsa, and the two sisters hugged. As Olaf watched them, he remembered what the wise old troll had said. An act of true love will thaw a frozen heart. Anna's love for Elsa had saved both of them, and the kingdom. The two sisters were best friends again, and Summer had returned to Arendelle. Elsa even made Olaf a little snow cloud to keep him from melting. Elsa had a surprise for Anna. The castle gates were wide open. We are never closing them again, she said. Now everything was the way it was supposed to be. The End Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this book, don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos. Don't forget, thumbs up!